In the last video, we explored how to generate a new categorical variable from an existing continuous variable. In this video, we will discuss how to generate a new variable through computation or functions. Suppose we want to generate a new variable, which is the log of the hourly wage. We can type generate and then the new variable's name equal to log wage. We can use the summarize command to find this new variable. We can also generate a new variable, the squared hours, by typing hours multiplied by hours. We can check all the functions available in Stata by typing help functions. For example, let's click on the mathematical functions. Here we can see the exponential function, the logarithm function we just used, and many other functions. We use the replace command to make a change to current variables. We can use it to generate a new dummy variable. For example, we can generate a new variable college to indicate whether people have received a college education. First, we assign a value of zero to all the observations. Then we replace it with one if the grade completed is greater than 12. Now we see that the variable college is a dummy variable with values of 0 and 1, indicating whether the person is college educated. Next, let's learn how to rename and label variables in Stata, which is also an important part of data manipulation. Remember that when we use the describe command, we have the names of all the variables and their labels. Let's say we want to change the name of the variable wage to hourly wage. We type read name, the old variable's name wage, and then the new variable's name hourly wage. We can see that the variable has a new name. Assume that we want to change all variables so that all variables has a suffix 1988. We can do this by typing read name star, which means all variables, to star 1988. Now we see that all the names end with 1988. If we want to remove the suffix, we can type read name star with 1988 to star. Now the service has been removed from all variables. Next, let's talk about the label command. Suppose we want to give the variable LRAGE a label. We can type label variable, the variable's name LRAGE, and then the test of the label in the quotation mark, the log of hourly wage. Now the variable has a label that we can see in various commands, such as describe, summarize, codebook, and tabulate. Finally, let's focus on the value label. When we look at the variable college closely, we find two categories. However, we may forget what the values 0 and 1 mean. So we need to define a value label and then attach it to the variable. This is a two-step process. We first type 
label defined, followed by the value label's name and the label's rule. In this case, zero means not received college education, and one means received college education. I call the value label college label, but you can call it whatever you want. The second step is to attach the value label to the variable. To do that, we type label values, followed by the variable's name, college here, and then the value label's name, college label. Now we can see the value label for each value. 